Hi everyone, let's continue our reading for the book of Psalms. We're in chapter 73. Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost slipped. I had nearly lost my foothold, for I envied the arrogant when I saw the, prosper the prosperity of the wicked. They have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They are free from the burdens common to man. They are not plagued by human ills. Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. For their callous hearts comes inquility. The evil consists, conceits of their minds know no limits. They stroth and speak with malice. In their arrogance, they threaten oppression. Their mouths lay claim to heaven, and their tongues take possession of the earth. Therefore, their people turn to them and drink up waters in abundance. They say, How can God know? Does the Most High have knowledge? This is what the wicked are like. Always carefree, they increase in wealth. Surely, in vain, have I kept my heart pure. In vain have I washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been plagued. I have been punished every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, I would have betrayed your children when I tried to understand all of this. It was absurd to me till I entered the sanctuary of God then I understood their final destiny surely you place them on slippery ground you cast them down to ruin how suddenly are you are they destroyed completely swept away by terrors as a dream when one wakes as a dream when one awakes, so when you arise, O Lord, you will despise them as fantasies. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you, yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterwards, you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail. God is my is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Those who are far from you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell all of your deeds. Psalm 74 Why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smother against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed. Mount Zion, where are you? I'm sorry, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps toward 
those these everlasting ruins all of this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary your folds roar in the place where you met with us they set up their standards as signs they behaved like men wielding axes to cut through a thicket of trees they smashed all the card paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defied the dwelling place of your name. They said in your heart, in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshipped in the land. We are given no mysterious signs, no prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, O oh God? Will the foal reveal your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But you, O oh God, are my king from of old. You bring salvation upon the earth. It was you who spit upon the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in, to, in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Lebanon and gave them gave him as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever-flowing rivers. The day is yours, and yours also the night. You established the sun and moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember how the enemy had mocked you, O oh Lord. How foolish people have revealed your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forget. the lies of your afflicted people forever have regard for their covenant because haunts of violence fill the dark places of the land do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace may the poor and needy praise your name rise up O god and defend your cause Remember how fools mock you all day long. Do not ignore their glamour, clamor of your adversities, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continuously. Psalm 75 we give thanks to you, O oh God. We give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I chose, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge uprightly. When the earth and all its people quake, it is I who hold its pillars firm to the arrogant i say boast no more and to the wicked do not lift up your horn do not lift your horns against heaven do not speak with outstretched neck no one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt a man, 
but it is God who judges. He brings one down, he exalts another. In the hand of the Lord is a cup, full of foam and wine, mixed with spices. He pours it out, and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to its very degrees. As for me, I will declare this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. I will cut off the horns of all the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted Amen.